So do you want to know what affirmations are and how to create your own affirmations for best results? Then make sure you watch this entire video. Affirmations were invented by Noah St. John and it is very similar to affirmations. We were talking about those in the last video. Please make sure you check that video out because it is kind of connected and I'm not going to repeat all of the information in this video as well. So affirmation and some people call them ask formations are very, very similar. But instead of having a sentence like I am, abundant or you are abundant or I'm so grateful that I am abundant, you would turn it into a question. Why am I abundant, for example, or how come that I am so abundant? How is it that I am so abundant? And I have to say the first time I heard about affirmations, I really resonated with them. I really, really did. And I like working with them. And if you've checked out my meditation videos, I like to use a mixture of affirmations and affirmations because affirmations are a way to sneak information into your subconscious mind bypassing your ego because your ego is kind of like your bodyguard. You know, it wants to protect you. But also the ego is accustomed to our rituals you know if you are in lack mentality then that's what you are used to and it may sound weird but i've heard many people who were on depression mention that they were actually scared of getting healthy because they don't know what it feels like and we are often more scared of change than we would be scared of a positive development that is why many people are in some kind of self-destructing behavior and keep stuck in that that is also the ego that wants to protect us from the unknown so if you try to work with affirmations and you're saying for example I am beautiful but you have made experiences where people called you ugly or you think you're ugly then there's your, your ego like you're not you know you're not you know that person told you you're not pretty and then there was that person and that person and then look at you you have I don't know you've got acne or you've got this or you've got that and you're a bit overweight or maybe a lot overweight or you're too skinny or you're too this into that and da 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 you know when you then try to work with affirmations affirmations with I it may work for you if you just do them constantly enough then you sooner or later your subconscious mind will believe it if you just repeat something often enough because a thought you think many times will turn into a belief with constant repetition but affirmations and you will need constant repetition for affirmations as well is a way to bypass them because when you say instead of i am beautiful or you are beautiful or think I'm so grateful that I'm beautiful why am I beautiful and when you say or how come that I am not beautiful and then your subconscious my your ego will have no way to challenge that because that way you already state I am beautiful and it's a given why am I beautiful or how come that I am so beautiful and then your ego won't be like wait well, you're not because when you formulate it like this it will be a fact you feed it like a fact like ego it's so i am beautiful why but why tell me why am i so beautiful how come i am so beautiful and then your ego is trying to find reasons you know remember everything you experience gets into your subconscious you won't be able to notice everything because there is a filter in our brain if you would constantly notice everything there would be like an overload you know if you would could never tune out any smell or there are, there are birds singing over there and then there's a kid screaming over there and then there's this going on and that and then there's somebody moving over there and then there's somebody making a movement over there you know you actually intake all of it but you will not really notice everything imagine you're for example writing a test and you're really focused on it then there will be maybe somebody coughing but you won't even be able to notice that because you're really focused on something and you're kind of like shielded from all the information that is not important for your 
right now and your brain has that kind of filter and by the way little excuse that is what a highly sensitive person is like myself there's a different kind of highly sensitive people hsp and one is you have different filters you intake more and people say there's well experts some say it's about 10% of the population, other 20%. There are some people that have different filters. They always intake more. That's why they need to take more breaks and they're often introverted because they're important for the evolution, for the rest of the herd, you could say, because they're the ones that are especially cautious and they will notice what others don't notice. And by that can save everybody by um, making some kind of alarm, like there's danger coming. But anyway, let's go back to the main topic. So we do have those filters and those filters also determine on your, they, they're connected to your belief system, you could say, for example. So let's say you have the belief system, like all people are liars, there's no honest people, or people are always rude. Then you will meet nice people throughout the day as well, of course but you're, it doesn't match with your subconscious belief, so you will forget it right away. But your subconscious mind will notice, yeah, that person was nice and that was nice and that person was nice. However, even if there were like 10 people that were really nice that day, but one was rude and you have the belief, yeah, people are rude, then that's the one that is going to stick out because that's the one that is matching your subconscious belief. And that is another way the subconscious, like the filters, work they point out what you believe about this world so as soon as you change your inner beliefs your perspective will shift because then the filter in your brain will shift and all of a sudden you will notice the nice people and you will forget about the rude person right away because that doesn't really match your belief you have the genuine belief yeah most people are actually really nice people and the rude person doesn't match your belief and yeah it's that memory will be stored in the subconscious but where i'm going with that is when everything is somewhat getting saved so maybe like many people did call you let's stick with beautiful okay and there's just a couple of people who called you ugly and if that matches your inner belief like i am ugly you will forget about the people who called you beautiful or maybe situations when you looked into the mirror like, oh, not bad today, not bad. It's still saved somewhere, it's stored somewhere, but it is forgotten. But then when you turn it, your affirmation into an affirmation or affirmation, why am I beautiful? Your subconscious mind still has all of the information stored and it will flip through that and it may not even come to your conscious mind as well but it is working in your subconscious and that is okay it doesn't have to become conscious if it does it, it's, it's good if memories come up like oh yeah that person they called me pretty it is working your subconscious mind where all of the information is stored that we didn't even perceive consciously some we didn't even perceive consciously others we just stored away right away because they didn't match our belief so when you ask the affirmation, how come I'm so pretty? Then your ego has to take the fact, oh, I'm pretty, as given and can't challenge that. Instead, it will be too busy to go through, your subconscious mind will be too busy to go through all of the situations that actually match that new belief, I'm pretty. And then it will be, oh, right, that day, oh, I was looking really good that day. And then that person complimented me and that and that and that and that and that. And again, it doesn't have to come into your conscious mind. When you work with ask formations, and it could be, why am I abundant? And maybe you can't pay the bills right now, but still if you're, why am I abundant? How come I am that abundant? Your subconscious mind will immediately check for all situations, where am I abundant? Am I abundant because I have a lot of free time? because I have amazing friends? Am I abundant because I've got like 20 pairs of shoes or 50 pairs of shoes or whatever is abundant means to you? Or yeah, maybe you're broke right now, but look, you do have a roof over your head. If you're watching this right now, then you most likely have some kind of electronic device in order to watch that. So you do have stuff that will hi yeah, hi highlight that you are abundant, even if you cannot pay bill XYZ right now, but you still have stuff, you have clothes on your body and everything. When you say, why am I so, 
why why do people always love me why do people always love me or how come people adore me then again your subconscious mind will scan all of the situations where this happened and the more often you do that of course the more it builds up in your subconscious mind and by that you slowly change your belief into what you want yeah into new and by that you slowly change your inner beliefs and remember it's your inner beliefs that get pushed out like Neville Goddard said everyone is you pushed out every situation is you pushed out so it is important to change your inner beliefs and if you cannot get very far with affirmations because you have a strong ego then sneak the information <laughs> through like like around your ego <laughs> and give your ego something else to do like oh now it's your job to find all of the things that confirm my statements your ego won't be able to challenge that but like we did with the affirmations we are now going to check how you can create your own ask formations or affirmations so let's talk about how you make your own affirmations you watched the last video where we were making our own custom made affirmations so this is building up on that and you haven't watched part one with the affirmations please go back and watch that video because now we are going to take the affirmations that we already created and we turn them into affirmations or ask formations i am good enough to be loved or whatever it is could be why am i good enough to be loved or how is it that I am good enough to be loved? And it's as easy as that. You just take the statement, the affirmation, and you turn it into a question. How is it that people or specific person or twin flame, whatever, are always faithful to me? You can, of course, write, um, insert the, the name of that person. If you have a specific person in mind, I would do that. I would use the name of them. Or, why do I deserve to be treated with... So you can use the why do I, but that's a bit... Usually it does work. But if you have a very low self-esteem, for example, very, very bad self-conscious, then your ego could be like, yeah, why? Why would somebody ever treat you well? So it is often better to, how is it that people treat me with respect? Or how is it that I deserve people treating me with respect? Something like that. My person always calls me. Why does my person always call me here you can use the why easily because it's not like your ego cannot say yeah why are they calling you because that's not the issue you want to have them call you when they haven't so when you say why are they always calling me then it is a statement your subconscious mind is your ego is taking the statement oh they're always calling me why well let's see well because i'm adorable that's why they always call me and even if they are not doing it right now doesn't matter remember it's your subconscious mind not your conscious mind you want to convince that they're always calling you because once it is a belief that they're always calling you that is the order to the universe and then they will start always calling you and here the same why does my person always to talk to me and here the same why does my person love talking to me here you could turn it into why does everyone think that i am beautiful or again why does my specific person insert the name think that i am beautiful why am i glowing that much why do I keep feeling prettier every day? I don't know. Should we go through all of them? I mean, you get the gist, right? Why am I the only one for my specific person? Why does my person love me and only me? 
Why am I the only one that my person wants to be with? Why did my specific person already choose me? Why am I the only one for them? Or how is it that I am the only one for them? Why does my person want to be in a relationship with me? Why does my person adore me so much? And why do they want to be with me? How is it that my person is always honest with me? Why is my person always truthful? Why can I really trust my person? Or how is it or how come that I really can trust my person? Why is my person that amazing and trustworthy? <laughs> I just inserted the amazing but yeah, why not? Why do I only attract people that are honest? Why does my person always respect me? Well, because you deserve it. Why is it so easy to find my dream job? Why am I that competent at that job? This one I would having a hard time to really form it into a nice question, so I would go with that one. Why doesn't age matter when finding my dream job? Why do I have the perfect age for the job that I want? Why do I have the perfect age and experience for the job that I want? Why am I the most competent person for this job that I want? Why do I always get the job that I want? Or how come that I always get the job that I want? Why is it that easy to find my dream job? Why do people in job interviews always adore me and they see my value? Why do I have so much to bring to the table? I think I would separate this in two. How come that I have so much to bring to the table? And why am I always chosen? Or how come that I am always the chosen one? Then when it comes to money, why is it so easy to make a living? Or how come it is so easy to make a living? How come I always have enough money? How come that money comes that easy to me? Because money loves me. <laughs> why am I so abundant? And why is there always a constant flow of money coming to me? And you could also add, why is there an always increasing and constant flow coming to me? So this is how you can use your own affirmation to turn it into an affirmation or ask permission. You basically just turn your sentence into a question. So let's get back to the main video. Well, I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. It is a video of an entire playlist. Make sure you subscribe and check out the video on affirmations. Check out my other playlists. I always put every video in some kind of a matching playlist to give you all of the information you need. If you want personal coaching, don't forget to contact me. My contact information is below in the description box. I am available for personal coaching. And also, YouTube is going to suggest videos to you right now. Make sure you click on them and have a nice day now. Bye-bye.